All right, so here I am, I'm out at the grinder, and the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grind this side and then this side, so that way I know I have two surfaces that are parallel to each other. I just double checked, and this was my one inch, 762 thousandths dimension side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the part down on the magnetic chuck, I'm gonna touch off, and then I'm gonna grind six thousandths off the first side. When I set the part down, make sure that it's sitting flat, there's no burrs, so this part's very stable, it's not rocking. Go ahead, I'm gonna turn on the magnet. After you turn on the magnet, always give the part a good check. The magnet is on. Um, I already dressed this wheel, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to come down and touch off on the part. Right there, I just made very light contact. I like to hand feed across the part and verify that there isn't any high surfaces, kind of like that right there. So this side of the part, despite the fact that it was not um, rocking when I put it down on the, the chuck, uh, it's clearly, uh, higher up than the, uh, the other side of the part where I touched off. And I did check the part and it was, um, appeared to be pretty parallel surfaces. And that wasn't that big of a, an amount that it was grinding off right there. It was just on this, this far right side closest to me. But that's why we, we, we check the part with uh, manual controls before we make our, our down feed adjustment and then start power feeding. So this is one thousandths. I set my stop to where I'm going to remove six thousandths total. I'm almost getting a full clean on this, uh, this side that was technically the low side, which tells me by the time I get all the way across to the side closest to, to me, that I should be getting a full clean up all the way across the part. So from my, my six thousandths stop that I set, um, I'm going to be keeping all my features more or less perfectly centered in the V-block. Now you're going to be making two V-blocks, so you'd have yours on here side by side, and you would have measured them to make sure that you were touching off on the taller of the two. So I'm feeding down. Now I'm feeding the table out. All right, so right now I'm letting my wheel spin for about 60 seconds before I shut it off. I'm trying to let it free itself of all the coolant that might be in the top surface of, uh, of the grinding wheel. So um, this will help the wheel stay balanced. And after about 60 seconds or so, I'll go ahead and shut it off. I am gonna continue to run this grinder, but uh, this is best practice. We're gonna wait for the wheel to stop before we mess with the part. I just started the DMAG cycle. So when this uh, electronic magnetic chuck 
um, runs through its demagnetized cycle. This part will be easy to pick up off the off the magnet, and it shouldn't have uh, too much residual magnetism in it. So the the last two passes, I went down a half a thousandth, and then I did a spark out pass. And as you can see, we got a really good finish. If I had just went a thousandths and thousandths every single pass, it would still be a really good finish. Um, but there would be lines from my step over. Um, so basically, we're, we're refing and then we finish. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mic this in four spots. And then I'll determine how much I'm going to take off the other side. And 1.750 is the, the dimension. So we're going to see how close we can get to that. All right, everything's as clean as I can get it. You use your, uh, the palm of your hand, your clean hand, run it across the truck. You'll fill the little granules that the paper towel leaves behind. Make sure your part's nice and clean. Even though I already just, just ground this, I'm still gonna give it the old tap slash rock test to make sure that it is as clean and uh, flat as I think it is. So I'll go ahead and turn on my magnet. And I'm gonna set my, uh, my zero stop for the amount of material that I calculated I need to remove. All right, so now this surface and this surface are parallel to each other. And I'm gonna put one B, B block at a time in this vise. Now I'm hanging the part out of the left side of the vise. And clamping down. So now what I'm gonna do is grind this surface, and then I'm gonna rotate the vise 90 degrees, and then rotate this surface. What that's gonna do is it's gonna take these once parallel surfaces and make them perpendicular to this surface and this surface. From there, I will just be resting on this surface to grind the opposite side, and this surface to grind the opposite side here. We'll end up with a part that is pretty close to being perfect. And for the skill level that you're at right now as a student, um, this is just gonna be great. And you're, you're learning some good concepts and later on in your career, you'll be able to apply these and then you'll learn some other techniques to, to improve the accuracy even further.
Well, I've been pretty happy with uh, the cleanup after the milling operations. The part was pretty square. Um, I never actually inspected it. Like we're gonna inspect this part after the after I grind it on camera, um, and I probably should have, but it's not taking very much at all to clean up on the last surfaces that I ground. I'm gonna guess um, within about thousands and a half of uh, down feed from the original touch off, and that was completely clean across the entire surface. So for the the milling that I was doing, um, yeah, I'm I'm okay with that. That's pretty good. All right, before I forget, so ground surface, ground surface, ground surface. Um, this, this right here, actually, I put a, a big enough uh, bevel on it when I was deburring it that it's, it's a very tight radius. But right here, these two surfaces, they've created a sharpest corner as you could hope to get. Um, well, nearly. But what you're gonna notice is you think that, hey, there, there's no burr. Um, when in, in reality, I don't think the camera will pick this up. But if I take a, a fine stone like this and I come at a slight angle and then I start to roll it over. Well, I didn't get it to happen, but Sometimes when you do that, you'll get a very fine um, angel hair burr that'll break free. Um, so that, that slight burr that broke free would have been something where if I had sat down on that surface, my block would be kicked at an angle. And when you're talking about um, the extremely tight tolerances that we can hold on the grinder and um, the level of squareness we're hoping to achieve with this project uh, the little burr that I can feel right here when I run my finger um, if I sit on that it's gonna throw off my my squareness my perpendicularity so make sure you're exercising a lot of patience and pay close attention to your your work piece and it has to be clean and it has to be free of burrs I don't know if this camera will pick it up but there's these little fine hair um, burrs that I'm trying to show you that have flaked away. So now that corner's, it's just a tight radius now, it's not a, a sharp corner.